What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're making Melmetal. He's pretty simple and he uses a lot of hexagon. Uh, that's because he's a, you know, he's a metal Pokemon. So I guess they thought, oh, well hex screws are Pokemon. And so they made Melmetal um, hex screws. Anyway, let's get started on our design. So. I already did him once over here, but I was going to do it again with you guys. So I'm going to grab uh, one of these polygons and I'll move I'll move it to the side this way because I'm going to be copying that a lot. I don't necessarily want to be dragging um, it back and forth, but uh, so we'll leave the copy here and this way I always I don't have to drag in a new one every single time I want to make anyway. Making his feet. His feet are just gonna be a hexagon. More do you know? And let's grab one of these like spheres, and that's gonna be yeah, kind of his leg area. And we'll rotate it kind of like this. He's gonna have a regular stance. I don't like that gray. Let's try this gray right here. All right. And we'll just, so I'm going to build like kind of one side of Mel Metal, and then I'm just going to copy it over. So it's going to, that's going to be his leg. This is going to be kind of like his uh, torso area. And we'll have to kind of build something around. I might even do something different than what I did over there. I might, if you want, you can actually build this shape right here and we're just going to use a lot of different spheres because he is uh, well he's quite liquidy and uh, you kind of I mean I guess like well, he's, he's mostly like a, a liquid metal maybe like mercury but uh, anyway I, I kind of I don't know where I was going with that I'm gonna grab our Shape there going. Let's put a hole into it. So we're holding shift. Kind of center this about into the center of the uh, polygon, the hexagon. I'm going to group and check out the size. I'll go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. And we can put that about right there. And if we need to, I might even do this. Let's ungroup and delete this. Make this a hole, and we'll kind of stretch that through. Let's move this uh, about into the center. Then we can group these two things, and we'll put this into that center cavity. We'll make this like a. Let's check. Pretty darker gray than the uh, than the body just like that and we'll group the I'll group all this side multicolor and flip this over mirror like this that's gonna give us that's gonna get us pretty close uh, it's not really centered and that's okay for now. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build this like uh, yellow part right here. Um, so instead I'm just going to grab this and kind of move this part over. I think it's more of a It's about right there. Let's make this uh, yellow. I don't like that yellow. Let's try. Let's try there. And if you need to um, increase the bevels because he does have some pretty uh, some pretty significant bevels, so that's gonna be how we do our look right there. And same thing. Just gonna grab another hexagon. Um, 
move this over. Uh, always, uh, I guess, always size things up before you rotate them because it makes life a lot easier when you do that. And we'll make this part. Uh, this is going to be like his arm. So we're going to color. Black, he also has some big, I think, like spheres there. So, what do you know? Big sphere. And kind of size that down. Make this part black. I meant the sphere. We have to click onto that. And then his arm, um, kind of the same deal. I'm going to rotate this because uh, his arm is kind of like in an impossible position. Again, referring back to the photo whenever I need. And let's grab, let's grab another sphere. Let's stretch that out. And notice how I'm only building one side. I'm only building one arm at a time. Notice how I'm only building one arm first, and then all I'm going to do, and the, all I'm going to do, is save myself some trouble. And of course, um, I'm going to copy it to the other side. And I'm making another copy here, and this way, uh, it was, it's going to it's going to do two things. It's going to save me a lot of work, time, and effort. And the other thing I was going to do is I was going to make sure that his other side is exactly the same size and shape as his uh, left side. And all you got to do is mirror. So see how easy that is? It's really, really simple. And I probably don't need this hexagon anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this hexagon. Actually, is this one still available? Um, it is. Let's just grab, instead of making it again. Again, I'm just looking to uh, save ourselves some trouble. And since it's already here, why not use it? And maybe make this a little bigger. And a little bit just like that. And then we'll grab a um, cylinder. Because I, I don't think that's a good photo. I think if you look right here, he has like um, a little bit of a uh, gray part. This is like circular. So that's what the, that's what the cylinder is doing here. It's not a not the greatest photo in the world, but uh, let's make his head a little bit smaller. I think it's actually closer to there. He's a little bit on the fatter side. Kind of want to fix that. Let's ungroup and we can. Move this back over. Let's move. Let's try to center this the best we can. That's all I'm trying to do. Is, yep. That's not what I wanted to do. Just trying to center that body. Then we can grab the hole, hold shift, group that together. There we go. It's a little bit uh, on the heftier side on this one. Um, you can change it if you want. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. And then, of course, we'll make that and bring that looks pretty, pretty accurate. Um, for this guy over here, he's a little bit skinnier. Um, I think uh, I don't I don't mind uh, him being a little bit on the punchier on the heftier side. If you want, you can maybe bring this in just very slightly, and then same thing over here. And again, you're making the adjustments 
after you have all the other body parts. I think that looks pretty close. Um, he's definitely a little bit skinnier than... But uh, I think it's pretty close. Uh, if you want, the other way I did it is... And we can just ungroup. And then we'll delete and delete. Let's uh, go to all and we'll grab let's grab this banana. I think that's what I used for the other guy. And it gives him like some curvature. And we can rotate it this way. Kind of bring this guy down. Group that together. Make this uh, that silver. And let's try. Ungroup. Again, we're just making the adjustments as and needed. Just like that. I think that's going to give us uh, a look closer to uh, Mel Metal. Yeah, I kind of li I like this one better. Alright, well, we'll... Oh, my dogs are barking. Andy. But yes, we will delete and again Doing our favorite function, copy and pasting. Let's put that on to the other side. And then, if you want, we can squeeze that in just a little bit. It's all about what people see, not necessarily what it is. That's gonna, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. A little bit skinnier, has that little curve in. Anyway, that's it for this video. So, hopefully, you guys like. Uh, make sure you like it and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.